Are you afraid to face the infected wolf spider that was added in the Into the Wood update for Grounded? If so, don't feel bad because I was too at first. However, after doing extensive weapon testing, I found the best way to take them and every other new bug down as quickly as possible. In this video, I'll tell you what upgrade every new bug is weak to and resisted against, as well as which weapons are best against every one of them. Before we begin, I want to thank the Overseer91, Grey Knight, and Baz channel, and all my other channel members who help make videos like this possible. Let's get started. So to prepare for this video, what I did was I tested all of the upgrade paths against all the new bugs. I also tested all of the best weapons against the new bugs. Now, in my previous video where I tested the Hot and Hazy update, the, inse the Insect Strengths and Weaknesses, what I did for that video was I tested each of the damage types in addition to the upgrades. So I tested Chopping, Slashing, Smashing, Stabbing, and Generic. For this video, I decided not to do that for two reasons. One... There was no way, because they changed some of the base damages for the weapons, there was no way to get exactly the same amount of damage as I was in the previous update, where I was able to get weapons that had what looked like to be doing exactly the same amount of damage. In this case, because of rounding and stuff like that, and because they changed the base damages, it just didn't work out where I could get clean results. And secondly, and honestly, this is more, more of the reason, it doesn't really matter. Because the better weapons in the game, because there's not weapons that are good for, like, for example, there's no tier 3 dagger, there's no tier 3 spear, and most of the, I didn't even test any of the tier 2 weapons except for the crow crossbow, because the tier 3 weapons just do simply more damage, they do so much more damage than the tier 1 and the tier 2 weapons, that it doesn't even matter if a bug is resistant to that damage type. Let's, let's say, for example, that a bug is resistant to slashing, the antlion greatsword is still going to do more damage than a mosquito needle, which does stabbing, or a spear which does stabbing that only do like 1.5 damage base versus the five or six that the better weapons do. So what I did was I tested the best weapons using the proper upgrade pass after determining which upgrade to use and then use that on each of the new bugs and figured out which weapons were best. Also during the testing, like always, I made sure I had no mutations on so there's no coup de grace and I made sure that I was wearing no armor that would affect anything. I think I did have on aphid slippers to get around quicker and I might have had on the firefly headlamp just so I could see when it was darker out because I did test this on my stream. Now, normally in these videos, I would show all the results, but in this case, it was about five or six hours of testing on one stream, and I believe I tested a little bit before that, so I will leave a link for the stream that I did most of the testing on down in the description below, just in case you're interested, but in this video, there's not going to be any testing. I'm just going to get right to the numbers so that this video is only, it can be as efficient as possible and not be a 20, 30, 50 minute video. So here's the summary of all the new bugs that are added in the game. The one you're going to see at the bottom is Roly Poly. Roly Poly is not new, but they did, they did add Roly Polies that are not sickly. So there are sickly roly polies, but there are new roly polies. They do, in fact, have the same weaknesses. So what you're going to see on these charts is I did I tried to color code things to make them as easy as possible. So if you see white text, it's going to mean salty. If you see the aqua text, it's going to mean fresh or the mint upgrade. If you see the red text, it's going to mean spicy. And if you see orange, it's going to mean none. So I'm not going to read through all these. You can see what they are. But basically what I did was I categorized them by their weaknesses, and that's the order we're going to be going through them in. So the Black Ox Beetle, Termite, Termite Soldiers, and Termite King are all weak to Salty. Dust Mite, Green Shield Bug, Infected Wolf Spider, Ladybird, and Ladybird Larva are all weak to Fresh. Roly Poly is weak to Spicy, and the Scarab is weak to None. The Scarab's unique in that it, is not, it does not have any strengths or weaknesses from my testing. And like I said, I used a level 9 Antline Greatsword with each of the upgrade paths on these each of these bugs, and these were the results I got. And then you can see the resistances. So Black Ox Beetle, Dust Mite, Green Shield Bug, Roly Poly, and Scarab have None. The Termite and the Termite Soldier were fresh and spicy. For some reason, the Termite King was not resistant to spicy, but he was resistant to fresh. And then the Infected Wolf Spider and Ladybird were resistant to salty. And the Ladybird Larva is like super ultra resistant to spicy. There was a bug where it wasn't taking any spicy damage. They did fix it, but do not hit a Ladybird Larva with anything spicy right now. Even if they do, like if they don't change anything, it's really, really bad. It'll take you lots of hits. To kill with something spicy so i do not recommend using spicy against them so now with that out of the way what we're going to do is we're going to look at each one of these individually and i'm going to show you all the weapons and explain what or basically just tell you what the best options are for each one of these insects so first up is the black ox beetle these are the beefiest new enemy added in the game and up at the top you're going to see the name so the name is in white because it is weak to salty and then in the parentheses the first is going to be the weakness and the second is going to be the resistance so in this case weak to salty resistant to none that's going to be the format for all of the video going forward just to keep it simple and as you're going to see here these are all the weapons i tested so i what i did was i used all the tier three weapons and i also used the crow crossbow because it was the best weapon it was the best it's the best bow in terms of damage per shot and it is also the best stabbing damage because it does count as stabbing damage for the crow crossbow, I also tested different arrows. So I didn't use the basic arrows because I didn't, they just don't do as much damage. I, I used the feather arrows, the splinter arrows, 
and then I use whatever arrow the upgrade was for this. So for this case, it was salt. Others it will be mint, and others it'll be the spicy. So in this case, the best weapon to use against a black ox beetle is going to be the black ox hammer. Now, of course, the first time you fight it, you're not going to have it. So I would recommend using the club or the mother demon, or even a crow crossbow with the salt arrows. You can see how quickly, 12 shots. Now, again, this is with no coup de grass. This is with no marksman's cap. If you use coup de grass in the marksman's cap, you're going to get more, you're going to do more damage with the marksman's cap for the crossbow. Plus, you're going to get that 25% chance of crit. So in the best case, using the black ox hammer, you might be able to kill it in seven to eight hits, if depending on your crits. But on average, if using a black ox hammer with coup de grass level two, you should be able to kill the black ox beetle with a black ox hammer that's salty in probably about eight hits. Without it, this, and again, these are all level nine weapons. So of course, if your weapons are lower level, it's going to take a little bit longer. And you can see the results here. So the worst was the termite axe. And then one other thing is if it's purple, the purple text is going to mean they're, they are upgraded via the mighty path because the weapons, the crossbows, and then the weapons like the Coltana, Mint Mace, and Salt Morningstar can only be upgraded via mighty. So these are the results for that. Like I said, I would recommend probably, now my first time fighting it, I actually used the Salt Morningstar, which you can see is, does 20, it takes 21 hits at level nine. So it does take quite a bit of time. I did that because I wasn't sure how much damage they were going to do, but I would recommend if you're, especially if you're decent at blocking, just use the Club of the Mother Demon, or if you want to be really super safe, use the Salt Arrows with the Crow Crossbow. Next up is going to be the regular termites. These are little worker termites, weak to salty, resistant to fresh and spicy. And these guys are really, really super easy to kill, especially with level nine weapons. Even without level nine weapons, it's not going to take more than probably like five hits or six hits with these, with the good weapons. So you can see here, Antlion, Greatsword, Black Ox Hammer and Club of the Mother Demon all take three, as well as the cro the crossbows. So in this case, you don't even need to use the better arrows. You could just use feather arrows. I used the Salt Morningstar when I did the Termite Hill the first time I went through it, and I didn't have any problems, and mine was only level seven. I used it in the Black Ant Shield. The Termites really don't do a ton of damage unless they get buffed unexpectedly. I, would not rec I, I wouldn't recommend worrying about... I wouldn't be overly worried about them. They're pretty simple to take care of. And honestly, from my limited testing when I did the damage types, they actually were resistant to slashing. But the greatsword, like I said, because this does so much damage, it's just going to blow through them. So anyway, here's the results here. Like I said, make sure you salty against them. That's the main thing. And then honestly, any they're, they're super easy to kill. I would just recommend not using the mint mace or the coltana. Termite soldiers. These are going to be the beefier versions of the termites. Same resistance, same weaknesses. So they're weak to salty, resistant to fresh and spicy. Club of the Mother Demon. Crow Crossbow with Salt Arrows actually does a little bit better here. And the Antlion Greatsword. One thing I want to bring up right now that you're gonna you may or may not notice as I go through these, sometimes the upgraded arrows with the specific weaknesses, like in this case salt, are they perform sometimes they perform much better, sometimes they perform like it's almost like they don't even matter. So we'll I'll, I'll bring those up later on, but in this case the arrow type only makes a difference of one shot, not a big deal. But honestly, I would recommend probably going through here the first time. If it was me and you had a Club of the Mother Demon Salty or an Antline Greatsword Salty, I'd probably just use those. That's going to be easy. Or the Crow Crossbow with Salt Arrows, although Salt Arrows are going to be a little bit expensive to craft. And again, like I said, the Salt Morning Star is going to take a couple extra hits, but it's not terrible. The final Termite is going to be the Termite King. So there is a single Termite King that is in the Termite Hill. It does respawn after a couple of days. So while I don't think it's being considered a mini boss, it is beefier than the Termite Soldiers. It is weak to salty, resistant to fresh. In this case, and here's one of those instances, for some reason the splinter arrows killed it a little bit faster than the feather and the salt. In fact, the salt performed the worst, which makes absolutely no sense, even though it is definitely weak to salt. I definitely verified that. But in this case, for some reason, the salt arrows take longer than the feather arrows, even though the salt arrows are made from feather arrows. So I don't know what that's all about. But again, Club of the Mother Demon, Black Ant Sword does okay. I think most likely for the Termite Hill, if you want to go in and be able to just wreck everything, a salty Club of the Mother Demon is probably going to be your best bet. Although, like I said, you can still use the Salt Morning Star. Like, I used the Salt Morning Star against the Termite King, and you can see here it's among the worst. So, he's not that hard to kill, honestly, especially on medium mode. But Club of the Mother Demon Salty would be my recommendation if you're going to pick one weapon to go through the Termite Hill on. All right, moving on to a different type of bug that's found in a different part of the map. So, the Dust Mites can be found up by the shed on the doormat that's out in front of the shed door. They can also, some of them are down inside the caverns, the canyon areas of the upper yard that was added. And these guys are weak to fresh. They have no resistances. And these guys are a bit of a pain in the butt for a couple of reasons. One, they like to do their range attacks. So if you haven't fought them yet, you're gonna you're gonna basically see that they're like the infected dust. They are like the infected mites, except they are super ultra aggressive with that ranged attack, and they cluster up in groups. So 
they will get you three or four at a time and what they do is they put negative status effects on you they will burn through your armor really quickly so your armor durability is going to go down so in the testing the mint mace and a fresh club of the mother demon did the best however if it was me i would recommend just using a crow crossbow now in this case you're going to see that for some reason the mint arrows performed worse than the feather and the splinter arrows even though they are weak to mint that is a 100 they're 100 weak to mint but i would recommend just using a crow crossbow with feather arrows if you use the marksman's cap and you have coup de grass on you might be able to kill them in two hits so that would be my recommendation just do not use the coltana or the salt morning star those did not do well and like i said mint mace or use a bow those are going to be your best options the green shield bugs up next this is a beefier version of a stink bug they have a weakness to fresh and they're resistance to none now i did test this uh, my, all my testing was done in a custom game mode where the i was not taking damage i would not recommend fighting them face to face if you don't have to because they're super easy to just kill with a bow and that's how i take care of stink bugs in general you could put on a gas mask and, and fight them using the mint mace or the club of the mother demon in this case, I would recommend just using the Crow Crossbow. Arrows don't really make that much of a difference because it's 12, 12, and 13. But I would fight them at a range. Every time I've killed them, I've just stood off at a distance. The one that spawned by the Cap Gun, if it's still there, sometimes it's there, sometimes it wasn't. You could just stand on the Cap Gun and just pick it off with a bow. And again, like I said, these are results are using no mutations, no Marksman's Cap. So you could reasonably expect to probably kill them in like 8 or 9 shots with the Crow Crossbow, depending on your crits. Our favorite new insect added in this update ha 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 infected wolf spider weak to fresh resistant to salty best weapon against it in my testing was the mint mace as you can see seven attacks again no coup de grass put coup de grass on there and if you want to get really clever and throw a barbarian on and do extra damage possibly and the other thing i didn't mention was eating meals you could eat a spider slider this is using no smoothies as well so i forgot to mention that at the beginning no smoothies either so basically all these results could be better depending on if you're buffing yourself using those things but a mint mace with no mutations, no smoothies, did seven hits to kill the infected wolf spider. The infected wolf spiders are going to be much harder to deal with than the other, than pretty much anything else in the game, probably. They have a decent health pool. They do the regular spider attacks, but they also drop little, they drop strange spores that explode all over the place. So in my opinion, what I would recommend doing, even though it's not the number one option here, is going to be using a crow crossbow with mint arrows. Now, I mentioned earlier about the arrow thing. In this case, the mint arrows, it only took eight shots to kill the infected wolf spider. For some reason, the splinter and feather took 20 and 21. So these guys must be super, super weak to fresh, or there's something bugged out about the mint arrows. But in any case, eight mint arrows versus having to face it head to head, I'm going to go the mint arrow route all the time. They're not terribly expensive to craft. So, and like I said, you throw the marksman's cap on, put on coup de grass, you might be able to kill it in as few as five shots. I think the best I did was probably seven. So, but again, it's all about the crit. So you could get anywhere between like five to seven shots with coup de grass and a marksman's cap one and just safely stand up on a root or a rock and shoot it and not have to deal with it. Ladybirds are up next. These are essentially reskin ladybugs with more health. They are weak to fresh and resistant to salty. In this case, the mint mace is going to be number one best option because it has the fresh damage built into it. And then you go up to up upgrade the mighty path. You're going to end up having a higher base damage at level nine versus the, or the higher damage versus the straight fresh upgrades club of the mother demon black ox hammer are both going to do really well again mint arrows do super well against these guys but for some reason the feather arrows and the splinter arrows took twice as many shots so that's something to consider as well honestly i fought these guys i'm pretty sure i fought these guys the first time using a salt morning star which as you can see is the absolute worst option and i still was able to able to take care of them maybe i used a sword i don't remember but in any case mint if you want to face if you want to fight i would just use a mint mace honestly probably because that way you don't have to keep upgrading different all these different weapons you probably have a mint mace leveled up six hits with no coup de grass you're going to probably be able to take them out in five hits maybe four especially if you throw a barbarian on and you can just circle around them and hit them they're pretty pretty easy to take care of next up's ladybird larva these are essentially reskin larva they do put a sizzling effect on you if you're not wearing antlion armor in this case they're weak to fresh and they're super resistant to spicy again Pretty easy to take care of. You can see they only take three hits with the Mint Mace, Club of the Mother Demon, or an Antline Greatsword. The latter two being upgraded Minty. Arrows didn't seem to matter here, but I'd probably recommend just using a Crow Crossbow against these guys because then you don't have to get in their face. If you have to get in their face, again, Mint Mace, that's going to save you from crafting a bunch of other weapons. Roly Poly, these are the new Roly Polies. They are not sickly anymore, so they have a lot, they have a lot, they have more health. I don't know exactly how much more. They are weak to spicy, have no resistances. 
The Black Axe Hammer and the Club of the Mother Demon that are spicy did really well against them. Honestly, this is probably one of the only weapon. This is the only bug that the new Coltana, which is the new secret weapon, is actually good against because it has spicy built into it. It's actually really bad against all the other new bugs, but it'll probably be useful if you go back and use it in the earlier parts of the game where it'll just be like the old Antlion Greatsword that was spicy. In this case, honestly, if you already have an Antlion Greatsword spicy, which most people probably do, I'd recommend just using that. Like you can see here, it took 11 hits, but this is with no coup de grass and no smoothies being drank, so... You're going to get probably 10 hits or less if you're using coup de grass, so not a big deal. They're just going to be a take a couple extra hits to kill versus the sickly roly polies. And then for the last new bug that was added, and this one's got a, is a little bit unique. This is the scarab. They have no strengths, no weaknesses. And in this case, I tested. I could not kill them with any of the melee weapons in one hit. The issue with not being able to kill them in one hit is they will run away from you and they will burrow into the ground and be gone. And then you have to wait for them to pop back up somewhere else. There are anywhere from like two to I think the most I saw was like eight that can spawn at any given time. If you use the new survey stations, you'll see where they are. They do typically move in the same direction from where they spawn. So if you figure out where their spawns are, you can usually figure out where they're going. Like I know where a couple of them usually are now, so it's much easier to find them. But in the case of fighting them, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use a crow crossbow. Crow crossbow is going to do more damage than the insect bow. You will notice that in this video, I didn't mention the insect bow at all. I prefer to use the insect bow, but in this case, because the crow crossbow does more damage, I've been, I would recommend using that for these newer bugs. You're going to need to have the marksman's cap and one of these other things set up here. So in order to one shot the scarab, you need to have a marksman's cap and a level six crow crossbow with splinter arrows or a level seven crow crossbow with feather arrows or a level eight crow crossbow with regular arrows. I was just using the level seven crow crossbow with feather arrows. I already have that. If you go anything above this, like if you go level nine, obviously you can use any of the arrows. Level eight, you can still use the feather or the splinter. But for me, I was just using the level seven crow crossbow with the feather arrows and the marksman's cap. And again, I did not have coup de grass on, so that would help even more. And I didn't have any trouble one-shotting them with any of these setups. So those are the strengths and weaknesses of all the new bugs and which weapons are best against them. I'll be updating my original spreadsheet to include this information, and we'll leave a link for that down in the description below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to click the like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.